Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. So today, we are back with the Lothario Caliente family. The last time we played with this family, we had Don go and prove that he's still in the game. He's still a man whore. Um, I had my high hopes for him. I really did that having a child would change him. And honestly, I still think there's a hope, a chance. I think there's a chance that, you know she can become wrapped have daddy wrapped around her little finger and he'll just you know obviously have that bond with her and you know he does like i said love nina oh my god i get them so mixed up dina and nina he loves her he really does he's in love with her but you know he's just he's got these urges <laughs> so yeah that's what happened um right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it looks like he is going to clean up um, because I'm pretty sure it's Dina <laughs> that keeps coming over here and whacking over, or whacking, really, knocking over our trash can. So, I'm just going to have him come and kind of, like, clean up a little bit before, um, Dina wakes up. Because I think she did work late. Yeah, because she works from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. So, her hours are a little bit all over the place. But she should be waking up shortly. And looks like Olivia is, I almost forgot her name, Loki. <laughs> I have so many babies and toddlers in this game, it's not even funny. But Olivia is awake. I'm hoping that she will age up in this part too. Uh, that'll be good because I think that would make, that would mean, okay, yeah. So we had Damon age up in the Dreamer family. We had, um, Oh my gosh, Ethan, yes, it's Ethan in the Broke family age up. And then we just have Olivia to age up and Spencer from the Goth family to age up. And then we'll be working on our second generation of little Sims here. So that's really cute. Um, let me go ahead and mention this real quick because I mentioned it in the Dreamer family part and some of you were like, oh my gosh, no, I don't want this series to end. Y'all, This I mentioned this series is going to be wrapping up, but... I, it's going to come back, okay? Don't worry. We're still going to be playing um, with The Sims 2, but we're going to move on to Strange Town probably after I have our young adults in college finish their first year and graduate and everything, which we still have a few parts. Um, I, pro I would say maybe 10 or 12 more parts. So when I say we're almost there, I don't mean like next week we're, we're done with this part. But I do plan on, you know, doing a season two, of course. I think that'd be really fun to, you know, kind of come back to the Pleasant View family and kind of play with like Dare, uh, oh my God, I don't, I don't know their names, Dirk and um, Dustin and Lilith and Angela and kind of see how their lives go. Um, I don't think we'll focus on all of the families, but we might. I'll just have to see how it goes and get y'all's opinion. But yeah, um, that's that's in the agenda. That's what we're planning on doing. What are you doing? Oh, he had not only cleaned up, but he has served us. What is this? What is this? Don, what is this? Is that grilled cheeses? Is that a grilled cheese? How come it won't tell me what that is? It looks like a grilled cheese. I mean, that's nice. He wants to learn lifelong happiness, but he wants to be best friends with Alan. So Alan was the girl that he kind of became friends with the other night. Um, they don't have a romantic relationship yet, but they are friends, which, you know, that could lead to something. He definitely had those intentions, but honestly, I'm rooting for him to be a better man. I really am. Um... Because, like I said, I've mentioned this so many times. He he does love her. See, he does. He's in love with her. They've they've you know been with each other for really a long time. Not like with each other officially. I don't even think is she. She's not even officially his girlfriend, is she? Propose engagement. Okay, I guess you don't ask to be girlfriend in The Sims Two. It's just kind of like you have a romantic relationship and you're kind of like seeing that person. And the next step is engagement. Um. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Dina, if he's ready for that, I was going to say maybe he'll ask her to be his girlfriend, but technically I think it's kind of a given that they are boyfriend and girlfriend at this point. Um, but I don't think he's ready for marriage at all. But, um, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that Don can change? Do you think Olivia, you know, will be the one that kind of bonds him and Nina together for ever can he commit to nina because of his daughter um and it shouldn't just be because of his daughter i know it should be be because he genuinely loves her which he does he's just 
oh, he's just got this these playboy tendencies. He's still young, though. I was like, maybe it's like a midlife crisis. But no, he's still young. That's just how he's always been. It's Don Lothario, for Christ's sakes. But we're going to put away these leftovers so they don't spoil. And then I think we're going to go upstairs. Oh, my gosh. I love how this is like a little dog, and it has <laughs> Bailey. It looks like a little... um. Oh my god, like a raccoon tail. We really need to do some lawn, not laundry, some gardening. Um, but real quick, before we do that, I want him to call the services, and I need to call an exterminator, and hopefully freaking Dina will stop coming over and knocking our trash down so we'll have a freaking break uh, from the freaking roaches in our yard. But let's call the exterminator. All right, and let's have Nina clean up. Okay, so it is winter. Roaches don't stand a chance against us. Cool. All right, so it's winter, and then it'll be spring. Um, I think I want to have her go shopping again, or I don't know. Maybe I'll see first what kind of outfits that she has in her closet because I kind of want to change her outfit, kind of want to change Don's too. I haven't changed his yet, so we may have them do that. We may have them go shopping um, together. Does he work today? I'm assuming not. It's Sunday. Oh, he works at 6 p.m. Hmm. Does she work today? Yes, at 10 p.m. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, we might have to do that real quick because I do want them to get different clothing. You know, the seasons are about to change. Oh, my gosh, she's so beautiful, Olivia is. Okay, no, use the restroom. I want to have them get all ready. I really want them to... To go shopping before he goes off to work. Okay, well, let's cuddle with her, give her some lovin's. And I think we need to call a babysitter if we're leaving, right? So let's put her back in her crib and let's come down here and call services. How do they have $15,000? Oh, maybe it was when Don moved in with us. Did we get his money? I mean, technically we could upgrade to a bigger house, but I don't know. I just think this fits them. And right now, I don't see them having another baby, so this is plenty big, and they can just, like, save the money for when they are ready. Take a shower real quick, Dawn, um, while she calls the nanny. All right, so we have arrived here at, uh, I think it's called Blue Water Village. I could be completely wrong, though, and Dawn's really got to go to work, so I'm going to have him come over here and buy some everyday wear. Um, before he goes off, and then I kind of want to have them do a little public woohoo. We'll see if we can do that before he leaves, which I don't think we will because he's going to be leaving in an hour. The carpool will come pick him up. Okay, so I got a few outfits for him, not very many. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so I didn't buy her anything because it turns out she actually has quite a few things. Um, okay, can... Does he not have to go to work when he's here? Maybe not. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, because when they get back home... Mm-hmm. Okay, how do you woohoo in public? Mm, I think he has to change into or try on. Okay, let's have him try on an everyday wear. And then we'll have her go in there and kind of like get frisky. I think that's how you do it. We'll see. Okay, yeah, we're going to have her come over here and woohoo. Yvette, honey, you might want to look away. Hurry, Nina, you're going to miss your chance here. Yeah, Yvette, just walk away, girlfriend, just walk away. He's like, what are you doing? Ma'am, only one at a time, one at a time. He already knows. He already knows. <laughs> oh, my God, they're like, yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's so weird. I don't know, honestly, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be cheering on in that situation I'd be a little appalled but you know she's definitely feeling it she's feeling herself she's like yeah I did it I did that <laughs> he ain't going nowhere and he's like oh yeah Woo, okay hunty your boxers are showing I'm not really feeling it she's like no maybe not maybe not all right I think that's a wrap um we're just gonna go ahead and have them drive back home Okay, so we're back, and I think Dawn will head off to work shortly. She's like, <laughs> they're all about each other right now. They're kind of like in that honeymoon phase after their little woohoo. But I think I want them to come over here. And is he already going to do it? What, what is this? Is he just thinking about her attraction? Okay, I want him to come over here and give her a romantic kiss. 
Okay, apparently the car is in the way, so I'm not going to fight him on it. He's either going to kiss her or not. Looks like he's not. <laughs> because um, here is the carpool. All right, you know what? She'll, she'll be here when you get home. It's fine. All right, so let's come over here and... Um, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> I said put I said put Olivia in crib, and I was thinking, oh, where's my child? But she's giving her a bath. Thank you, and Nanny Lawson. Um, and Nanny Lawson is, is just such an important person in my sims lives um she's the nanny of all of my little babies uh specifically this in the broke family looks like she's disposing of this really can you not okay can you drive to work i mean are, are you stuck what is going on here oh well this is just this is great okay okay there we go Alright, and Nina does have work in about five hours. Um, what time does Don get home? I really want Olivia to age up in this part. He gets home at 1 a.m. So it looks like we are going to have to have Nanny Lawson not sit my child on the floor, but we need to have um, her track our schedule. So we probably need to dismiss her for now. That's the way we're going to have to do it. And um, We need to really hire a maid, but we're not going to hire Nanny uh or Nanny, oh my gosh, Kaylin Langerick, because um, of the past that they've had. Oh, also, by the way, somebody told me that I can change the baby's diaper on this thing and change their outfit. I didn't know that. I thought this was, like, just decor <laughs> or something. Oh, my gosh, this is driving me crazy. Freaking dismiss her, okay? Stop putting my child on the ground. Thank you. Put the baby in the crib. I'm so ready for freaking Olivia to age up. I just, I want to see what she looks like. I want to see if she's going to have red hair like Nina or black hair like Dawn. She's going to be beautiful either way. All right, so I think we did dismiss her. So let's just have Nina um, come through and clean up a little bit and get ready for work. And then, of course, we're going to have to call the nanny again and get her to track our schedule. That way she'll be sure to come over before we go to work um, since our work schedules are kind of all over the place. And I really want to work at her getting a promotion. <gasps> Help with birthday. Looks like she's about to age up. <gasps> oh, and she's got black hair like Dawn. Can we, oh my gosh. Hold up. Hold up. <gasps> Look at her. She's precious. Okay. Wow, I'm so obnoxious. Um, plan everyday outfit for Olivia. Okay, somebody told me I could do that. So thank you. And we're going to pick her outfit, which this is all we have. Which, it's winter time right now, so we'll go with that. That's fine. <laughs> oh, she's so precious. Okay, let's check her out. I'll make sure her skill... Okay, she's good. All right, so I guess because we have to um, really make sure the nanny comes, let's put her down and have her just kind of like play. Who, who's, who's still in our newspaper? Who is this? Who is this? Alan Turner? Okay, so this is the girl that Dawn was getting kind of like flirty with or romantic at the, at the club, y'all remember? Uh, maybe she found out that he has a girlfriend and a baby and so she's kind of pissed, come over here and stole her newspaper. Not really sure what her reasoning behind that would be, but okay. Nina is going to take a shower, use the restroom, get ready for work, and oh my gosh, the phone's ringing. Okay, I don't know if this will be ringing when we get out of the shower, but priorities, we have got to get ready for work. But like I said, I do want to have her get a promotion. Um, so she has to gain the mechanical skill before she can get a promotion. So we're probably going to have to work on that later. I don't think we're going to have time to do it today. But look at a little Olivia. Oh my gosh, Don is going to be completely wrapped when he gets home. He really is. She is the cutest thing. I love toddlers in the Sims too. They're so cute. Well, hey, girl, you better pick that bottle up. It's gonna be stanky, and I'm gonna be the one cleaning it up if you don't pick it up. Anyways, <laughs> Nina has went off to work, and Don should be home shortly. So obviously, we have Nanny Lawson taking care of Olivia for us. Olivia, we really, 
need to like use the restroom, um, be potty trained, and also put to bed. Hopefully, Nanny Lawson can figure that out, but probably not. Like, we can't ask her. We can ask her for attention and ask her for food. We can't ask her to potty train us, and we can't ask her to put us in bed. So, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. I guess kind of just lollygag around and wait on Dad to get home before um, any of that happens. Maybe if our, like, energy and stuff gets so low, Nanny will know what to do, but I really do think that Olivia is going to be kind of the glue to this family and kind of like bring them together because it she's forcing them in a sense to kind of grow up. They're learning, you know, what it means to put someone else before their themselves, put someone else before themselves. Um, and just that unconditional love that you have for your child. I don't know. I just think that's something they're going to bond over, especially now that she's a little bit older and she's able just to completely, you know, wrap them around her little finger. And I'm excited. I really do. I think Olivia is going to be a complete daddy's girl. And I don't want the worst for Don. I mean, I know he's a hoe bag. And I always say, oh, my God, I can't stand him in The Sims 2. He's just such like a little sleaze. But in all honesty... I really do think that there's there's a chance for him. There is. And I kind of want him to come over here and tuck in Olivia and just kind of look at his little girl and think, I made this. I made this. You know, Don, low-key, between you and me, you might have a few more out there <laughs> that you don't know about with your track record. I'm just kidding, but for real. <laughs> uh, so let's come up here and tuck her in and then tell Nanny Lawson she can leave unless she's already going to leave. No, I think we have to dismiss her. She's going to go grab a drink, probably. Yeah, Nanny Lawson's up here like, I need a drink. <laughs> All right, let's dismiss her so we're not, you know, being charged for these extra hours we didn't ask for. And then he is so freaking exhausted, so let's have him go to sleep. All right, so Dawn did not get her to sleep in time. <laughs> or not in sleep, to sleep in time. Did not get her dismissed in time before he fell asleep. There you go. Uh, looks like our girl has done peed on herself, and now she's in desperate need for a bath. So, we need to come over here and have Nina dismiss her, and then we need to give poor little Olivia a bath, and we're going to bathe her. Okay, well, I guess we're not. I was going to bathe her, but I guess you can just change her diaper or whatever. <laughs> I guess that's more simple. No, look, Nanny Lawson, you're trying to rack up on the money. I know. I know Christmas is coming up. You need the extra hours, but we ain't got it, so you need to go. You need to go home. Oh, Nina is coming up here and giving Livy some loving, and we're going to have her put her in the crib, and then it's time for bed. Um, I do believe he will be waking up shortly. So Don is up, and it's actually snowing today, which is really cool. And he is going to potty train Olivia. See, he is a good daddy. He wants to teach her all of her skills. Um, he's just looking at her like, oh my gosh, she looks just like me. Oh my gosh, my little girl. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that he, I, he had a girl, which I was rooting for. And I say this all the time, but I really feel like, obviously, between a woman or a woman. Well, yeah, a woman and her son, it's kind of like a mama's boy type of thing and then with a daddy and his daughter it's kind of like a daddy's girl and I studied psychology a little bit and for those of you who don't know it's kind of like as weird as it sounds it's kind of like the opposite gender kind of like attraction thing girls are naturally going to be more close to their dad and boys are naturally going to be more fond or close to their mom I'm um, not really sure why I mean I, I mean I guess just like natural attraction like I said to the opposite sex um, even though it's kind of weird because it's your child but you know, don't think of it like that but I was really hoping that that's what Nina and Don would have together was a little girl because I knew that it was really going to change him as a man and make him grow up and um, no, no 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 let's put her in her crib because I think she does need to eat oh my gosh really Put her in the crib now. I mean, not crib. Oh, my gosh. I'm confused. You're confused. Me, too. <laughs> Put her in the high chair. But anyways, like I was saying, yeah, I just I really think that it wouldn't be the same if he had a little boy, honestly. I just think it's something about a little girl that, you know, a man needs to grow up personally. But let's feed her. 
she's throwing a fit she's super sleepy but honey you got to eat first because i know you're going to be about starving by the time you get to bed so he's dealing with the temper tantrums and dina is up here or not dina oh my god nina is up here sleeping and freaking alan is out here Oh, still in our newspaper again, so can we come over here? Oh, we can't. Is she leaving too late? Did she kick our trash can over too? How many times? How many times is this going to happen? No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Just go ahead. You were right. Go ahead and put her in the crib. Oh, Jesus. This is so frustrating. Put her in the crib. Wait, is Nina coming to do it? Okay, looks like Nina's like, you know what, Dawn? I was trying to sleep and all I can hear is my baby girl crying so you're not doing very good uh, let me take over okay whatever that's fine <laughs> you go outside and pick that trash can up and clean up the trash before we have more roaches crawling around here if y'all wouldn't you know be such hoe bags and have so many enemies we wouldn't have this problem you see Oh, look, it's so sweet. All right, so let's have her come up here and use the restroom. So it looks like her energy is up, and I want her to work on her mechanical skill a little bit. Now let's have her study mechanical for work. Is that, does she work today? No, she doesn't work today, so we can go ahead and get that skill level up. He works today, but he's out here building a freaking snowman. <laughs> But I think he's going to build it for Olivia so when she wakes up, he can like bring her out and let her experience the snow and show her what he made for her. Oh, I love him now. I didn't like him, but I just, I see him changing right before our eyes and I am loving it. I really am. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I think it was very successful. You know, Olivia aged up and we're seeing how she is kind of the glue to this family and really bringing out a different side to Dawn and, you know... <sighs> I'm not saying that these two are going to be together forever, but I see him growing up just in general and, you know, being a really good dad. I really do see it. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So give me your suggestions. Um, do you think he's going to change? Do you think that they're going to make it? Are they going to stay together? You know, just give me your, your feedback and your suggestions down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to you Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade